What's the difference if we're about to get another reaction today? We're hopping into Buffy the Vampire Slayer, episode number 14, season number six, called Older and Far Away. Hopefully it's a good episode. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. Of course, if you have, you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel, you head over to Patreon for the full uncut and edited reaction episodes like Shirley over there if you want them. If you don't, that's totally cool. You can get episodes here on YouTube whenever they go up. So, previous episode, we had a very... An episode that had some of the best moments, amazing acting moments we've ever had from Buffy. Probably up there. Um, shocking episode, honestly. The murder of a woman. Uh, Buffy willing to confess. I mean, a lot went down on last episode. There were also some things I didn't love. And I'm sorry, I'm just never going to be a Spike Buffy person. So every time they do anything, I'm just kind of like, eh. And I know a lot of you guys love it, and that's totally cool. It's the same way that, I mean, it's just, I like Cordelia and Angel. Like, in my mind, I'm cool with if that happens. I could see a lot of people not liking that, and that's perfectly okay. But Spike and Buffy is a no-go for me. And, uh, yeah, everything that had to do with them, I didn't love. But everything about Buffy, killing, monsters, um, her guilt, the way that the, the, the dumbass three... Um, what, what do you guys call them? You guys gave them a name. Idiots, whatever they're called. Uh, they, the way that they went about what they were doing, freaking as well. You know, I hate them. I think they're awful. This kind of made them more awful um, because they actually did something that actually hurt somebody legitimately. Killed somebody. Um, so yeah. I don't remember what the last scene was. What was the last moment of last episode? Uh, Buffy was talking to Tara about because Buffy Buffy's been trying to figure out why she feels the way she feels first for um Spike, and she's been kind of giving this excuse to herself that oh it's because I came back different I came back wrong I came back broken that's what Spike keeps telling her, and Tara just tells her, nah, you are normal. Nothing is wrong with you, which then leads to Buffy to going like no there's got to be a reason because why do I want Spike, you know what I mean? So I think that's cool. Um, I like that part. We'll see where this goes. Uh, this season, like I've mentioned, my least favorite, but I think that's to be expected. Um, I don't know. I, I, I appreciate season five even more um, just because I see what this, this season, I've just like nothing has grabbed me the way season five did or any season before that, honestly. Um, as much as I didn't like uh, Glory last season, he was pretty good compared to, like, these guys here. So there was some amazing stuff in that season. Amazing stuff here, just not as captivating. Um, I feel like the Willow stuff is the most captivating stuff, and we just haven't really, I don't know. We do it, we, we do stuff with her sometimes, but we'll see. So we're going to hop in here every time. Here we go. Previously on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I also miss Giles, man. Here. You can't even stand to be around me. It's not true. You didn't want to come back. I know that. You want to go away again. I'm in. I even feel her pain up. because you're gonna play cards. From Buffy's perspective, I have been called yeah, and vengeance. She was in heaven. I reek? <gasps> oh, this person. Okay. How freck? On Yonka? That'll feed into the Anya stuff for Xander, right? With her whole situation you about you know each other. You know, with Xander being shallow. What did you buy? Steal. Holy hell, jackpot. You stole a lot. You did steal the jacket. If How do you steal a jacket? Things Jim lost during his years in Shanghai and things he gained. Excuse Who me, wants Angela? to? All right, well, you got this. How are you doing? That was a weird cut. The word gulp comes to mind. Just remember, we're all here to, uh, I have to, with the thing that I, yeah. Coming! Hey. Hey. Oh, he seemed cute. W w was he cute? I mean, I I'm not a very good judge, but <laughs> I think he seemed cute. <laughs> I think he seemed cute. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. What's her name, man? If we get lucky, can, can she start on opening the presents? Yes, you do. Okay. You know I'm in high school, right? Yes, you are. You know what high school is, really. Does she even tell the difference anymore? You want to slip away for a minute, love? What? I'll let you blow up my candle. Here. <laughs> what a fucking horrible so. line. Oh, wait, wait, what a wait, shitty line. You don't want to make your new boyfriend jealous, huh? Shut up. He's sweet. Okay, shut up. He's sweet. Happy birthday, Buffy. <laughs> oh, my God. Chess? Did you guys make that? Yes. Uh, well, Xander did the building. Um, I offered helpful suggestions while observing from a safe distance. That's yeah, very pretty. What's it for? Those basic weapons plus a few. Uh, no one else would have. A Xander Harris original. Who else did we invite? I love it. Thank you guys. Buffy. Oh, Cops are here. Sophie. Welcome. Oh, uh, we're mind. somewhere between uh, presents. Oh yeah, I forgot you invited your friend. There's gonna be cake eventually, right? Hey. <laughs> Uh, my mom told me to say thank you right away because otherwise I usually forget. So thank you. And what the hell is this? I thought you were just a guidance counselor, damn it. Gotta be evil too, shit. Wish granted. Why? Why? So you asked that woman to do something? Hey. I didn't hear what she said. Go party. Everyone's having fun. I hope so. You look what time it is. No one's even thinking about leaving. I can't turn myself away. Yeah? <laughs> hey, can I go away? How's that cramp spike? Still bothering you? <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. Maybe you uh, want to put some ice on it. <laughs> Where's Willow? Why did they show Willow falling asleep? That would really suck, right? Oh, Donnie. <laughs> it's just we have more important Random? things to do. Yeah, I know. Okay, you're being, you're being like Whatever that means, way right? dumb right now. Ah, teenage girls. <laughs> like, she just, she's just lonely. Alone. She has no friends. Don? What? Did you do something? Me? Do you know something? Because we want you to feel like you can tell us. What would I know? Look, we're not accusing you of anything. It just... That should be I am. ...taking it personal down there. Oh. Okay. So you've all just decided that somehow I'm responsible. Are you? Great. Here's me basking in the love. Not actually. Hmm. Don. Okay. You want us to spend time with I you? I don't. Get out. Get out! Get out! Get out! I would think she's just a teenage girl, you know, upset at some things. Maybe something at school, I would think. I'd be like, what's wrong? She's possessed. She's a teenager. She's possessed. She's always possessed. Phones are all out. We're totally cut off. No phones are She's just so angry. What happens? We in case. That's great. Yeah. In a very bad way. No, she, she, she can have it around as long as she's not she's using it. Bring me what you have. But then Are we I'm really? doing this alone. You need to stay away from it. Okay, but we're all looking at her weird now. Please. Oh, it's that thing? Try the door. It's the sword. I thought it was the I thought Dawn did something. Interesting. <laughs> Holy hell, did they kill him? Is the kid okay? Why didn't it kill Xander? Like if he just stabbed. Oh shit. No, I don't care. If the monster stabbed you right now, I'd be like, yay, you got her. It's not like I meant for this to happen. Did you do I this? I never said that you did. I didn't want this. What did you want? 
Okay, so she did do the locking of the door thing. Nothing. But the monster getting out Dark is just one. a happy coincidence. No. You don't know. You have this thing you do. You have all these friends. I can't. Okay. If I start, I I might not be able to stop. And whose fault is that? You know, if you hadn't gotten so much of this in your system in the first place. Hey! You can chill. back off. Good job, Tara. She said no. And that's it. You're not going to make her do something that she doesn't want to. And if you try, you're going to have to go through me first. Understood? Fine. What's wrong with Anya? If you all aren't willing to get us out of this, then I will do it myself. I was going to say, Anya used to be able to do stuff. I mean, I know she went human. Maybe she knows some, some things. I wish you would have told me. You haven't. Well, didn't see that coming. Well, shit. I hope you die, you stupid jumping. Kill his ass. Your friend just died and you don't even care. Oh. There will be no touching of the pendant. <laughs> okay, okay. I just go where I'm. Will you? Oh, shit. <laughs> you guys know each other? Yeah, intimately. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Not really. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I thought vengeance demons only punished men who wronged women. <laughs> oh, that was Anya's little raison d'etre. Most of us try to be a little more well-rounded. Mm -hmm. And actually, we prefer a justice demon. Okay, FYI. Well-rounded, huh? Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Time to check. <laughs> what happened? Did you make yourself get stuck? She's stuck in the house now, too. It's the curse. Yeah, you have some weird friends. News from the file. Mark, duh. We're going to get him to the ER. And then we're going to talk about longer Peter. Episode? And Donnie, there are two words I want you to get used to. Punitive damages. <laughs> Think it's worn off? Just one thing to do. And the one girl left, so let's go. All right. <laughs> well, that's episode number 14, Older and Far Away. Why is it called Older and Far Away? I don't know. Um, it was a fine episode. Probably give it a solid seven, probably. Maybe an eight. More like a seven, though. Yeah, probably a seven. Because it's Buffy. Buffy's got a high bar. I'd probably give it a seven. Um... Some good things, some things I didn't care for. I would have wanted to dive deeper into the Anya paranoid, whatever was happening to her. I feel like we gloss over her panic attack. <clears throat> like it was like we needed to give her a panic attack in order to do the, uh, in order to do the other thing. And I kind of feel like we didn't have to do that. I feel like we could have, uh, I don't know, done something else. To make her find the, uh, the necklaces and stuff. But they gave her a panic attack, which is realistic. I just wish there would have been more of a conversation with that. Uh, Dawn. I'm glad that it wasn't that Dawn did it because she was angry or anything. I'm glad that it was just like an accident. Like she wished for it and the vengeful demon did that. I'm glad that we got that all, all out in the open. Um, when it comes to... When it comes to... What was happening with Willow? I thought they handled that really well. I'm glad that Willow didn't like fall and just do it. Glad she kind of um, fought back and um, was against it. Um, Buffy Spike thing. I'm gonna continue not to like that. That's probably my least favorite stuff in the episode, honestly. Um, just but because Spike's just annoying and he's always been annoying, but this is a different kind of annoying. And then 
Buffy's like, come on, stop it, Spike. Stop it. Like, I'm like, stop. You stop. Both of you stop. Poor kid that just came to the party. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I would like to dive more into some of the friends and stuff that were there. Spike showing up. I don't know. There was, a, like I said, there was some good things. There were some things I just didn't care for. Uh, let me see where we're at. We'll go through it here. Um, yeah, we didn't even dive into this demon, really. This is like a cool demon, the way he was teleporting. We didn't even really dive into that. I would have wanted to dive into that some more because that was type cool. Um, let's see. Uh, so Dawn's having a hard time because nobody wants to hang out with her. She doesn't have any friends. Her friends are her, are her family. And demon um because you know nobody's really paying attention to what dawn's doing she makes a wish here i didn't even catch on i didn't even catch the wish but she makes a wish there you make it but seriously it's it's no big deal i'm fine Woof. remember hearing the wish going away she did um we talk about buffy's birthday party her parties always end up kind of bad tara's here willow's here it's awkward Spike shows up. There's a new guy here that Xander's trying to introduce to Spike's. I mean, uh, Buffy to have some fun. Spike is being a jackass. Uh, she is trying to make Buffy happy, so she stole a jacket for her. Um, we then have the chest that was made, which makes her jealous. Um, we find out that she's bad, and nobody can leave even if they want. So there was a couple jokes about blowing Spike's candle and hustle curve or some shit. Um, Buffy, uh, Spike's being a jackass to the new kid. Buffy gets mad. Neither one of them can leave even though they want to. <clears throat> and then figure out that we were cursed. We asked Dawn if it was her. She has a freak out. She gets all angry. She's upset. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, need for the freak out dog um you know she's freaked out she's upset she's angry i it's realistic teenagers are pains in the asses and teenage girls when they're going through a certain time period they are even they are bad i have a, trust me, I have a sister it was, it was interesting times uh just everything made them angry um so yeah that was cool to see that because i felt realistic uh they're all kind of saying that they've been busy and living their own lives and nobody's paying attention to her we then figure out about we need to do a spell to break it. <clears throat> There's something clip something enclosed in here. What happens is we don't have the ingredients and in the things, and then Willow says she's got a couple. Everybody gives her looks, and I'm like, bro, Willow needs to have a safety net there for her to feel okay. Let her have it. As long as she's not doing it. I think that's okay. I it's better than going cold turkey, whatever, you know, like ease it into it. Just have a few little things here and there but we're you know i guess that's, that's my mindset i think it worked it didn't this demon shows up it's a fight happens um he's going in and out he cuts this guy we i like the demon demon's cool i like the way that he was kind of disappearing and shit it was really cool paralyzing and stuff pause oh uh, yeah then anya has a panic attack which i would have loved to have gotten deeper into um, the, I don't like that the demon got Xander and didn't do jack shit to Xander. He cut him a little bit barely after, but he could have killed him if he wanted to. I'm just freaking out and have a conversation because we ask about how she did it or something. I can't remember what we asked there. I'm just saying that Willow could be the one that helps us, and Willow's like, no, I can't because I don't know what'll happen. Terry helps her out. It's a whole bunch of an argument. <laughs> Starts to look. She blames she thinks that it's um that it's Dawn's fault so she's trying to figure out why how you know doing her thing there and yeah then we figure out that it's Anya's friend Anya's friend shows up killed comes back alive killed find out it's her that I like the way she worded it for Dawn about how she was crying and nobody could hear her I thought that was actually a really cool way to do that um Anya didn't really care when her friend died <laughs> i thought she would have cared more but uh yeah i don't know i like the episode i thought it was pretty solid uh just not as great as it could have been and it's kind of like a story i don't care about i feel like we, we need to keep going with the, the the trio of dumbasses that's where i would have gone um 
I said, I'm a member between these two. Everybody goes home. That's it. So that's the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.